I played the ever-loving out of Mass Effect 2. I was consumed by this game. The Suicide Mission, it's been a very long time since I've heard this music, so let's listen together to The Suicide Mission and break it down from a musical perspective. And so when we have this repetitive structure like this, what if I just did that the rest of the video? That music, that that's keeping us afloat, right? That's, as always, we understand music. That is setting the tone, it's setting the pace. But then over top, dum, 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 dum. We have these tones. This is clearly sad, right? There is an air in this music when we listen to it of deep reflection and contemplation and a fear because our whole team and our whole squad is going into this situation that could lead to the deaths of many, many, many of our beloved characters and beloved people and our beloved teammates. And so it's not like a gangbusters, I'm going in there and I'm gonna, you know, save the world. There is a legitimate concern here that this mission could go poorly. And there is a lot of risk, both for the characters and also for the player, because we don't know what's gonna happen, especially if we haven't looked up a guide. Not that I ever looked up a guide. So I couldn't risk losing anybody. So the way that this opens, there is a bit of fear and certainly a definite amount of concern and worry. See, so now what's happened is that we've had this whole introduction, it's the exact same rhythmic structure. However, now there's that off-ramp that we took, and now we're in this fully orchestrated section where it's the same rhythmic patterns, it's the same melodic structure. However, now the feeling has shifted, right? Now it's about determination. Now it's like, well, I can be afraid, but how, what's that gonna do for me? How is that gonna help us by me being afraid? I have to move forward and go after this thing because it's the only thing I can do. We can't go backward, we can only go forward. And so this propulsion, Bum, bum, ba, da, bum, bum, ba, da. That's moving us in a forward direction because we can't do anything else. And so it's like, well, I'm gonna be determined and I'm gonna set the path forward and, and march ahead. Notice the swelling too. Now, now we've shifted pace, first of all. We've shifted pace. There's a bit of a slower intensity to this. And it's really 
again, we, per usual, we've got our two sections. We've got our A section and our B section. The B section is much more typically introverted, more introspective, right? And here we've got this little bit of this solo voice over top that it's, it's sort of guiding us and it's saying, you know, like, oh, my spirit is afraid. I am afraid of this. And, and, and I guess I don't have a choice, but like, I want to go out there. I want to get it done. I mean, what else, what else can I do? And that's the sort of sense I get from this sort of stillness rather than having trumpets and brass and French horn kind of blaring out like this is the journey we have to go on. Now it's like, mm, what options do I have? You know? It's like, uh, it's like confident desperation, right? There's a degree of like, well, uh, there's nothing I can do. I mean, all right, this could be it. You look at your teammates in the face and you say, okay, let's go. It's really powerful, especially when the chorus comes in. Bum, bum, ba. That rhythmic intensity. We never really lost sight of that the entire time, even though it shifted from the beginning section, which was more electronic and, and quiet. Then we've got the orchestrated section uh, right after that. Then I guess it sort of shifts in the middle. And then at the end we have that. And that I think is uh, that rhythmic propulsion is what's keeping it sort of in this like fight or flight sort of scenario. And then you add the chorus and you add all these other elements and all of these things combined create this feeling of uh, real, we have to do this, you know? Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool to revisit Mass Effect 2. I really should replay these because, man, man, I poured myself into Mass Effect 2. As always, if you like this sort of stuff, feel free to like, subscribe. There's links in the About section if you want to support the channel. And as always, thanks a ton, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>